This should be the last time you see it with the pan off. I decided to go with a cork and metal oil pan gasket. I've never used it before. And I figured, what the hell? I had good luck with the rubber one, but it still seeped a little. I never tried this before, so I can glue it together and uh, take up any irregularities in the pan rail or in the windage tray. So I'm gonna go with this one. Uh, the oil pickup pipe is bolted on, the windage tray is in. I'm just gonna put a skim coat of RTV on the uh, cork gasket here to fill up that little gap in my pan where they warped it when they welded it. And uh, that's it, slam it together. So let's uh, get that done and check back in a moment. And there you have it, it's on. I wiped down all the extra goo that snuck out the sides. I put on the oil cooler adapter clocked it as I recall it goes. I want to say the little little notch right there lines up with the, if you want to call it a notch, it's a web, whatever, you know, webbing thing here to make it stronger. I had put a magic marker mark, but of course it wiped off and I cleaned everything, but I do recall that and that reinforcement lining up. So that's that. I could put the front pulley on and give it a coat of paint and blah, blah, blah. But uh, there you go, bottom end done, oil pan on. It's starting to look like an engine again. My friend Scott has the cylinder head done. He just ran to a snag with the O-rings and the cylinder head. It was O-ringed and when he planed the head, he found out the hard way it was O-ringed. I couldn't remember and we couldn't really tell. They were so embedded in it, but when he planed the head, they popped out. So he can't find the right size O-ring. So he's gonna have to cut the grooves again. And quite honestly, he's very busy and he also doesn't really wanna do it because it looks like a pain in the ass. But uh, <laughs> other than that, the head is done. So I need to get the head, uh, clean up my spare head, clean up my intake, my other intake, get them to my cylinder head porting flowing guy and just get some numbers on those to see how they look. And then I can put the top together and get this thing running again someday. Um, stay tuned and uh, we'll show more later. Thanks for watching.